That clip comes from our new short, Classified Mission Renegade. Over the next few weeks, we'll have tutorials for the effects you see in Renegade, and today we're covering how to create the drone view in HitFilm. You can download the footage from our new Masterclass webpage, or from the link in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. Here is the original footage. This was filmed on top of a tower with a 35-100mm to 100 millimeter lens. Let's start by creating a new plane. Onto this, add the fractal noise effect. In the controls panel, change the type to wood and the interpolation to block. This changes the way the noise is created. Activate keyframes for the seed property. Move your playhead to the end of the timeline and change the number. A larger increase will result in a more noticeable animation. In the transform settings, Increase the scale and move the center position point. Change the blend mode of the plane to overlay. Lower the opacity under transform. This adds a little bit of blocky variation in the lightness of the footage. Create a new grade and add the TV damage effect. You have several different options for creating distortion within this one effect, but for now I'll just focus on electrical interference. I'll increase the quantity and area width, then lower the width to make them less obvious. To create lines on the screen, bring in the plane from the media panel and add the fill color effect. I'll make mine a desaturated yellow-green. Come up and select the Rectangular Mask tool, and position your mouse in the center of the screen. Click and drag while holding the Alt key to grow the mask from the center. I'll bring the mask up to a point a little bit before the edge of the screen. In the Controls panel, duplicate the mask you just made. On the second copy, set the Blend to Subtract. Drop down the controls and under Shape, decrease the expansion by a few pixels. Duplicate the second mask and in the viewer, Use the normal selection tool to shrink it horizontally. Then increase the height vertically. This will make the lines look like brackets. For the crosshair in the middle, I'll again select the rectangular mask tool, put my mouse in the center, and draw outwards while holding Alt. Then in the controls panel, duplicate this mask and rotate it 90 degrees. If you want to cut a piece out of the center, draw one more rectangle and set the blend to subtract. Now for the color grade. Create a new grade and first add the curves effect. Switch to the blue channel and bring the right side way down. This will take blue out of the highlights especially, and most everything else. Change the channel to red. For this, I'll bring the right end to the left, which will tint the highlights red, but then add a large curve to the left side. This takes red out of everything else. The reason I do this is to have some color variation, so that the whole shot isn't the same shade of green. Now in the green channel, move the right end far to the left. Adjust these curves to fit your scene. There are many different variations you can get by moving the three colors around. Once your color is set, it might look washed out. Switch back to the RGB curve and add in some contrast. Now, let's add a vignette. Adjust the width and height to fit your composite. I'll then raise the softness and lower the strength. Finally, add a block displacement effect. Lower the size to around 10 and the displace block slider to determine how much of the scene is affected. Then increase the aspect ratio to stretch the blocks out. Similar to the fractal noise from earlier, you can keyframe the seed property to animate the displacement changing over time. Thanks for watching. Depending on when you watch this, the next video in our Renegade Masterclass may already be available here. Let us know if you have any questions, and I'll see you all in the next video.